Hey everyone, thanks for watching here on buffaloplus.com as well as the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Dan Fates here outside of, uh, don't mind that sign, it's actually now Bill's Stadium. I'm outside Bill's Stadium right now in Orchard Park. They just wrapped up their first practice inside the stadium and look, there wasn't a whole lot to take away and there's not a whole lot we can even talk about because of the NFL League restrictions on what we can report through training camp. But I will say these two few cliff notes. The offense looked sloppy today. Josh Allen had an interception that was picked off by Josh Norman. Norman ended up being hurt on the play when he ended up going down and being tackled. It looks like it's a left knee, left leg injury, but not much else we really know. Norman did not return to practice. And as I said, the offense didn't look great. Josh Allen didn't look great today. But the one guy that did stand out was rookie Gabe Davis. He had a 67-yard touchdown from Davis Webb. It was a slant over the middle. He beat Trey White and then just won the foot race down the sideline. A nice day for him as well as, you know, Sean McDermott the other day talking about these rookies need to stay on the field. A couple other things of interesting to note. Tyler Bass can kick a football like really, really far. He was really good from 50 and beyond. Steven Hauschka on the other side, not so much. This is a classic scenario, like they've said, of the leg versus the accuracy. Now, Bass did miss a kick from 43 yards. He pulled it to the left, but it is a different sound when Tyler Bass kicks a football compared to Steven Hauschka. Matt Beauvais from WKBW in Buffalo both compared it to it's like Bass is hitting a driver off the tee playing golf and Hauschka is hitting an iron. We will have to see how that continues, but right now Bass seems to have the advantage. They will continue to keep their pads on, hopefully tomorrow, as we'll break down much more. Thanks for following here on buffaloplus.com as well as the YouTube channel. For now, Dan Fates reporting outside Bill Stadium. Thanks for watching.